Super the Wild Man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right into the featured content. Basil had just finished a webinar last week. You know, it's very applicable, this webinar. Bottom line, when you get the newsletter, you're going to get the webinar. In fact, you're going to get more than just with this webinar. You're going to get basically, there's about 10 more out there. So you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199. And you get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593. Now, they all, folks, come back with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can check it out. It works for you. That's awesome. If something doesn't work for you, guess what? End of the month, you can get your money back. So check it out. Ride that wave. We've got a great traders market out here. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Uh, very good. Thank you. I think we're starting to see spring, and that's important here in the Boston area. Yes, I know. And I, I know that uh, the, the marathon was running right close to your house yesterday wasn't it i i actually wasn't here but uh, i know i heard you getting on the plane house. i know <laughs> <laughs> but no i wasn't on a plane but i was taking someone to the airport so it was i see oh I okay around. okay yeah. okay so yeah well talking about a plane uh the dow finally is flying above the trend line that i spoke about okay um and this I discussed in my webinar, a whole bunch of aspects that we'll, we'll talk about right now. Um, there's a pattern that I always look at. That rising prices get to about a peak C or a D, and suddenly it starts to turn down, and it pulls back and makes lower highs and much lower lows. Then all of a sudden, it finds some support. I call this a falling axe. It looks like an axe. More, it's like a, an expanding cone, a declining cone. And then what happens, it finds a base, and it struggles and struggles, and then it finally takes takes out that declining line. If that is the case and it does it in a very strong manner, it can have a one-to-one -to, -one to move to the upside. I see. And it and forms the cup formation. Well, lo and behold, look what we've got. I've been discussing this for a couple of, actually for about a week and a half because we've had this same pattern right here. And the Dow finally, it couldn't, actually I had this lower down. I tried to make it as strict as possible, hitting as many uh, key highs or lows for trend lines but once it starts to break above i also keep it i still try to be as conservative as possible so i raise that and say well the dow look it was down early in the morning it was at the 200 period moving average and i said it's got to break and close sharply in the 35 34850 or 70 area or even higher in the next two days because it must it's running out of time it's got to break that trend line and if it does all of a sudden, that pattern, I, I'll show it again, the pattern I was talking about, this downward expanding cone becomes a cup formation. So now, days young, anything, we've got 25 minutes, you know, in the last couple of days, you've seen big sell-offs in the last um, hour. So we'll see what happens here. But so far, it's nicely above this trend line. The, the, the really big thing for me now is, how is it possible for the Dow to, to use the 35,050 to the 34,970 area as a springboard. Because if this fails and breaks and goes in the next couple of days, if it takes out today's low of 34,000, let's call it even 34,400, that is really bad. But I like what I'm seeing. I mean, the conditions, you know, we're talking about, uh, you and I spoke about the TLT last week, I believe it was, just before I was going to do my webinar. And I had all, all week I've been talking about this TLT. Finally, it's broken key support. And my thinking here is, if there is a chance that the TBT, which is the inverse of the of bonds, um, in other words, the TLT is the, it looks like the yield, in this leg G slash B at 26.25, if it's able to have this little doji, start to pull back tomorrow. I don't know what the reason could be. Uh, after all, it's Fed speak day. <laughs> Anything could happen. But let's just say this pulls back. That'll be the first time in quite a while that yields at, at least have been just momentarily off the table. I think that might help the, the general market as well. So the reason why I'm making a big deal about this breakout today in the, in the Dow is that 
with all the negativity, with all the bearish talk, with all the, you know, now the Fed has been, there's a conflict in the Fed, but you, you have a lot more hawks than you have bear, you know, the, the people who are kind of dovish and not looking at yields in the same way as they had. I think that there's a chance now that we have a, a, at least a, a short-term decent rally. And if you're looking at the commodities, you know, look at crude oil. Crude oil is pulling back very sharply. It's down five and a half, stuck in this range, still very high, but it's kind of moderating a little bit. If you look at gold pulling back a little bit here, stuck in a range, doing very well. So none of these are breaking down, but it could be just a hiatus that maybe the Dow and the S&P need. I don't, the, the, the NASDAQ's gonna lead, need a lot more. There's no real leadership yet. So you're speaking about IBM, look, same chart. IBM, same falling ax pattern. I'll just pull it across so people can see. Runs up to a peak D at 133.08, pulls back. And the, the big thing now is, is IBM after how many quarters have they disappeared? How many decades have they disappointed? So Since 2013. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. So if they can be, even if they give a hint that things are sort of turning around, and IBM in the next couple of days, instead of breaking back under 126, it's at 129 right now, can move into the 132, 130, 131, 132 area, that breaks this downtrend for the moment and it starts to maybe form a cup and that's a Dow stock. So I'm looking at the Dow something a little bit uh, differently. I'm looking at it differently to the other indexes. It's in a way, it's a little bit of a leader, but we'll see if that continues. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're gonna see right under featured content, the opening call, you hit that button, you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials right now up 515. NASDAQ up 296. S&P's up 73.